Brothers and sisters, welcome again to Bible Way. Today, I'd like to share with you a mission project. Here in Bible Way, we stand for the three angels' message. And we put in our heart this, this goal and this, uh, and this call from God to spread the message in the last day events. We've been following our presentation, and we know the theme of the end time is even more present today. This evening, I'd like to go through uh, some points regarding the message that Christ had left to the church before he left this earth. I'd like to take us to a Bible verse now we found in the book of Matthew, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 to 25, which read, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought out him all sick people. They were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the parsley, and he healed them. And then following great multitude of people from Galilee, and from the Capolis, and from Jerusalem, and from Judea, and from beyond Jordan. We found this text in the beginning of Jesus' ministry. And what we found here is a practical expression of the medical missionary work. The gospel put in practice, the gospel put in action. Jesus was going through the different cities and towns, healing all the diseases of the people, touching the people, meeting the people in their needs, in the spiritual need as well on the physical need. At the end of this text, in verse 25, we read that, and there following great multitude of people. His fame spread out throughout all Judea and from Jerusalem and beyond the Jordan. Why spread his fame spread? Because of the good deeds that he was doing in touching and the needs of the people. And we are also in the last day as Church of God invited to carry on the same mission that Jesus was doing in participating in the ministry of the sick and needy in our society, in the midst of our community, with our goal to spread the three angels' message. I'd like to share with you a quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy, which said, wish to, to tell you that soon there will be no work done in, min in ministerial lines, but medical missionary work. The work of a minister is to minister. Our ministers are to work on the gospel plan of ministering. You will never be ministers after the gospel order till you show a decided interest in medical missionary work, the gospel of healing and, and blessing and strengthening. It is because of the direction I have received from the Lord that I have the courage to stand among you and speak as I do, notwithstanding the way in which you may look at the medical missionary work. I wish you to say that the medical missionary work is God's work. The Lord wants every one of his ministers to come into line. Take hold of, the, of, of his ministers to come into the line, sorry. Take hold of the medical missionary work. I repeat, take hold of the medical missionary work, and it will give you access to the people. Their heart will be touched as you minister to their necessity. As you relieve the suffering, you will find opportunity to speak to them of the love of Jesus. And that is the core mission of the medical missionary work, is to reach the heart of the people. And so there are many projects around the world. We stand here also doing medical mission work in our daily activity to promote the gospel and to promote the love of Jesus towards his creatures. And this evening I want to present you a simple project that is taking place now in Italy. Short after my uh, small presentation will be a, a video playing of a new project opportunity that we start in Italy. Italy is my country, that is why I have a heart for it. It's a country where there is a lot of people. There are 60 million people in Italy, but very little Adventist presence, only about 9,000 recorded members. And the mission presence is very little. This project that is being now promoted in Italy is to promote the gospel medical missionary work. Through the medical mission work, with the objective to spread the three angels' message. And so I would like you now to introduce you to this short video, that you, and I hope that you are be moved and touched to support the project. Continue to pray for the medical missionary work. This is the last great work left from Jesus for all of us, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hello everyone, my name is Marco Di Leo. I'm 36 years old and I'm an Adventist for 14 years. Currently, I live in Switzerland with my wife Candice and our children. 
I work as a healthcare assistant and my wife as a nurse. During the COVID pandemic, with some people and our friend Celia, who is also a healthcare assistant, we study very deeply the issue of care. World events led us to become interested in natural medicine, and I decided to study to become a naturopath. We also visited a natural health center in the countryside in Portugal, which encouraged us to set up our own project. In this little health center, we want to work mainly on a healthy lifestyle and offer some natural treatments that can make a difference in our everyday life. The center will be based on the principles of the New START program. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunshine, temperance, fresh air, rest and trust in God. After much prayer, we were blessed to find a suitable property for this project. Located in Italy, in the south of Piemont, the property was the former home of a country doctor. The medical practice is already there, as well as rooms for other treatments and activities. There is a garden and a plot of land for growing food. The property is located in a fairly isolated village, making it a very quiet and easily accessible location. It would be ideal for setting up a little health center and at the same time for missionary work in the Cuneo area. In fact, healing people is part of the plan of salvation, as Jesus demonstrated, bringing healing and hope wherever he went. Although the price of the house was already not very high, the owners were open to lowering the purchase price, which makes it very affordable. However, the property is very, very big and needs to be renovated in preparation for the project. With our friend Celia, we are willing to put everything we have into this project, but it is not enough. That is why we need your help. We have put a description of our project on the GoFundMe website, a safe donation platform. If you would like to support us, we would be very, very grateful. Please, don't hesitate to ask us any questions you may have. Thank you very much to all of you who will help us to make this project a reality. Bye-bye. God bless you.